I will never marry that old man. I will never give you what you want. You insolent brat. You will do as you are told. Since Bryce is out of the picture, the next best partnership is with the Walker Group. So you will be Mr. Walker's wife and serve him as required. How... how can you say such disgusting things about your own daughter? Please, Dad, let me out. I need to find Liam. I don't know if he's safe. Why? Isn't he with Bryce? I thought you and Bryce were in love. Was that another lie? I knew it from before. You could never land someone like Bryce. Shut up, Cheryl! Just shut up! Your jealousy and your greed is why this is happening. Don't you have any regret for what you have done? <laughs> My greed? You're the one always going after men you can't have. That is why Mr. Walker will be the perfect match for you, Natalie. I can just see you two being so happy together. Listen to your sister and do as you are told, Natalie. You have always soiled our name in the dirt. I won't let it happen this time. No, please, Dad. Please, I need to see my son, please. Let me out of here. <laughs> Where are we going, Dad? Again, I am not your dad. and We are going to my parents' place. You will stay with them till I figure out what to do with you. Wow, I'm going to meet Granny and Grandpa? Do not call them that. Okay. What is with this kid? Why does he think I am his dad even after I repeatedly told him I am not? Wow, this is Disneyland? Uh, no. It's my house. And I'm going to stay here? Yay! Oh, hello, Bryce. Who is this? Hi, I'm Liam. It's nice to meet you, young man. You want to explain? The woman you saw yesterday at the restaurant. This is her son. I am... Um, babysitting him for now. That is strange, especially for you. Are you hiding something from us, Bryce? What does this woman mean to you? Nothing. Nobody. It's the truth. Turns out, that woman was not lying yesterday. Some men had taken Liam and kept him locked in a room. I managed to get him out, but I couldn't find Natalie outside the hotel anymore. I will go and look again. Could you please keep him here until I find her? Yes, yes, of course. We will have fun here, won't we, Liam? Yes, but where are you going, Dad? Did he just call you Dad? Bryce, are you sure there is nothing going on? Liam, how many times do I have to tell- A memory suddenly flashed through Bryce's mind. It was that horrid night when he was tricked by his former business partner and landed up at that shady hotel. He had shared the bed with a mystery woman, but she had disappeared before he could have gotten a good look at her. Could that be Natalie? Liam, how old are you? I'm five. Oh, no. It was around six years ago when he had been in that hotel with the woman. Based on that calculation, if that woman had become pregnant, the child would be around Liam's age. Bryce suspected the worst now. Was Liam really his son? Mom, Dad, I need to find this woman. I'll see you soon. What is the matter, dear? Is everything okay? Mom, I don't have time to explain right now. I gotta go. My bet is she will still be somewhere near the hotel. I should rush and try to find her. <sighs> My poor boy. He must be so scared with that horrible Bryce. I don't even know where he must have taken him. I need to find a way out of here. Think, Natalie. Think. So what have you decided? Mr. Walker is coming for dinner today. He wants to see you. Okay, Cheryl. You win. I'll do what you and Dad want. Just let me see my son. What? Are you serious? So you'll marry Mr. Walker? Yes. If that's what you and Dad want, I will do it. <laughs> Finally! You have reached where you always deserve to be. Down in the gutter. I cannot wait to see you kiss him at your wedding ceremony. It's going to be splendid. You don't need to humiliate me more, Cheryl. I have already given you what you want. <laughs> Aw, I may even pity you a little bit. I will tell Dad and Nick. They will be overjoyed. Celebrate while you can, bitch. Hey. Did you happen to notice a crazy lady here, wanting to get inside the hotel? I'm not sure, sir. Can you tell me something more about it? A... She was trying to get inside the hotel a day before. I think you were talking about that weird lady. Yes, there was a woman who was trying to get inside and later she claimed that she had come for a waitressing job. She seemed frantic and suspicious. Bingo. Okay, listen up. I want you to go through all the camera feeds and find the new waitress we have hired. Let's get to it, fast. We can't waste any time. Yes, yes. Sure, sir. But, sir, there are hundreds of cameras all over the hotel. It will take hours to go through all of it. He's right. I don't have the time to go through all the camera footage and hope to find this woman. Unless... 
Just show me the footage from the sweet room corridor. That corridor passage footage can only be viewed via a cryptic key. It's 5679. I know. I am the one who set it up. Of course, sir. That's her. Fast forward from here. Stop. Zoom in. That's her dad and stepsister. Something is really wrong with this family. I must say, Mr. Davidson, your elder daughter gets prettier every time I see her. Thank you, Mr. Walker. She has indeed grown up to be a beautiful woman, and will keep you very happy. Thanks, Dad. But are we sure Bryce Clare is not involved anymore? The last time he confirmed that the both of them have a son and are married. Yes, Mr. Walker, that is just one of the many lies my sister told us. Mr. Clare is a reputed man in the city. He would have nothing to do with the likes of her. I'm sure she must have sold some sob story to him. Yes, that makes a lot of sense now. Natalie, are you okay? You seem upset. She is fine. You don't need to worry about her, Nick. Mr. Walker is going to take very good care of her. And just for your information, Mr. Walker, my sister has got a reputation of being wild and notorious with men. So you might want to restrain her. Oh, <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me. I will keep her very close. Isn't it great that everyone is finally happy and getting what they want? It surely is. So you really want me to marry Mr. Walker, Dad? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Of course. You both look lovely together. Yes, Dad. I am very happy for this wedding. I didn't know you loved me so much, Dad. Come on, Natalie. I always wanted you to be happy in your life. And I am sure this will take your life to a better place now. Yes, Dad. I am excited. I am getting married to this man who has been staring at my breasts since the time I walked in. What? She really needs to be kept on a leash, Mr. Davidson. You are all stupider than you look if you really think I'm going to marry him. What? You can't. You promised. Dad, she can't do that, right? She has to marry him. What are you saying, Natalie? Have you lost your mind? Dear Cheryl, you call me a liar so often, yet you could not see through the only lie I have told. That of agreeing to the marriage. You have insulted me enough. You need to be taught a lesson now. Come here! Get your hands off me, you dirty pervert! Guards, stop her! My dress is ruined! You won't get away with this, Natalie! Yes, there's the gate. I am home free. I will finally be able to see Liam again. What? No, they're shutting it? No! I told you, you won't get away with this. This time, we will keep you in a darker cellar. Guards? What? <laughs> Who is that? Get in. What are you thinking about? Guards! Don't let them escape! Will Natalie trust Bryce? Will Cheryl be able to stop Natalie? Will Bryce and Natalie realize that they share a past? To find out more, download the Pocket FM app now! Link is in the description.